Hey everyone, it's Steamboy again, back with part 5 of the making of the Elon Musk animated pixel portrait. This one is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to go through how I made Mars and how I made it rotate, and then also um, how I made it transform into Elon Musk's head. So let's jump right into it. So for Mars, I wanted to be as accurate as possible to the actual planet. So I found um, a picture online of the whole surface of Mars. Um, so I could use that and, and scroll it through like a circular frame to make it look like the planet was rotating. I also had an actual like reference of like a, of Mars rotating just to make sure, you know, it, it felt authentic. Um, so you can kind of see me here uh, comparing the two. And then um, I was just going to do like a pixel pixelized version of of the surface here. So, you know, I start off with trying to posterize it, seeing if that would work, see if I could kind of get away with just a couple of filters. But it looked like crap. So I decided to put it down to lower opacity and just get in there and um, stylize it myself. So I forget how many colors I end up using. It's like, must be like seven, seven or eight. But basically, I just start with the lightest color, and then gradually, I'm just like filling in the different areas and as it gets darker. Um, so it's going to go through here and I'm, I'm just using the actual surface of Mars as a reference. The reference I used though was a little bit, um, I don't know, the, the colors were too cool. So I decided to go with some more reddish tones here. I um, wanted to get that like red planet feel. Um, and then just getting, getting in there, filling in some of the, the, the more prominent features, like some of the big craters. Also the Mariner Valley, which is like one of the biggest canyons on Mars. You can kind of see me detailing it there. And what is really hilarious about this area here, and something I didn't realize until somebody pointed it out after I posted this, is if you look closely, um, the area where the the valley is looks a lot like an upside down version of the doge which was totally not intentional but i'm going to take credit for it anyway because it just fits so well with this elon musk themed animation anyway so i finished the texture here and i have a circular frame i'm just going to shade it a little bit so Looks like there's some shadow on the bottom right. And then I, I tried to kind of orbit the planet at, at like a 45 or like at a slanted angle, but that just doesn't work very well in pixel art. Things move better when they're uh, 90 degrees. Um, and then a quick star field. This one's like three frames. I uh, just got some twinkling stars in there just to keep the background alive. So once I have all those elements, I brought it into After Effects to do the orbit effect. Um, and you'll see me here kind of setting up the masks or, or the track mats in, in After Effects, like uh, having things masked. It, it's, it's a little different of a process. You use something called track mats instead. Um, and you just basically duplicate the layer that you want to use as your, as your mask and then um, assign it at the layer below. So then set some keyframes and there you have it. Looks like it's orbiting, which is kind of cool. I didn't think it would work that well. All right, so next I pop back into Photoshop and I'm gonna make the tiny version of the Starship here. Basically just scale down the big one. Um, and remember when you're scaling things, when you're scaling pixel art in Photoshop, to remember to check um, nearest neighbor for your transform type. That way you'll be able to scale things and it'll re retain the pixel art look, even though th sometimes things will like look really messed up and you'll have to touch it up like I'm doing here. Um, after that, I did a quick little free three frame um, thruster animation, or is it two frames? I don't know. Turns out you don't really see it because by the time the rocket gets that far into the frame, Elon kind of sucks it in. 
All right, so once I have all those things made, um, I'm gonna make Elon's head again. So this is the head that he transforms back into from, from being Mars. Um, and I got my rough sketch here. I'm gonna follow the same process that's outlined in part one of this series, um, where I do the rough line art in pixel art, and then I kind of clean up the lines. Um, so here I'm just kind of cleaning up my, my rough a little bit. And actually, I think I just end up going with this rough um, as a base for my final line art. Unlike, you know, this, that first sequence where I did the rough and then I put on a different layer and redrew it, redrew on top of it. Sometimes I'll just like, you know, if the rough is pretty close and not that rough, I'll just clean it up and use it as my final line art. So I think that's what I do here. So cleaning things up. And I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here. Um, to show the final line art, make some final adjustments, and then I'm going to start the color. Um, so one thing I don't think I mentioned in that first video is like I, I don't like to use black as my line art. Um, it just takes away a lot of the color richness. Um, so I have like a like a dark reddish brown as the line art. Um, so I'm going to drop some of the basic colors in here, um, and then adjust some of the line art to get the expression I want. And then I'm gonna go start uh, coloring. So here, I'm actually taking um, the line art first, colorizing some of those the, those details that I don't wanna show too heavily. And then going back in and starting the cell shading approach. Getting that first shadow color in there. I've got my reference top left, making sure I'm grabbing those same colors. Um, using that slightly more saturated in between color, kind of the, basically the, the Terminator color on the flesh. And then, you know, the shadows get richer. And I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here. Uh, almost done. Just getting those final details. Gotta get the stubble. That was one thing I noticed when I did the first, um, the first frame is like, he needed a little bit of that stubble to, to feel like Elon. It's hard to do stubble in, um, in pixel art, of course, but just having a couple of those in there really made him feel a lot, more, a lot more like Elon. And there you have it. That is pretty much the final uh, Elon head frame. So now I just gotta transform him. So at this point in doing this piece, I was like pretty burnt out already doing all the animation. So I wanted something simple. I probably could have did something more elaborate for this transformation, but you know, um, in animation, the fewer frames you have, the faster things that things move, um, the more you can kind of like fudge it. <laughs> so I decided to do a couple of, um, you know, rotating s smear frames on the planet. And hopefully that would be enough to, to get them to feel like it's transforming. Um, so here I am just, doing a couple of those uh, smear frames. And then once I had those, um, I needed an entry frame like into the Elon head. Or otherwise it'd be too dra uh, dramatic of a change. So I'm just doing a quick warp here to get that frame right before his head settles. So it's not as abrupt of a change from, from Mars. So here, right there, you see how the spin animation turned out, at least the silhouette. Um, so then I just got to go in and shade each of the planet frames. So I've got my planet for reference, Mars over there, grabbing the colors, basically just, you know, doing these like, um, smear framey shapes. I don't know what you call these shapes, but, um, using the selection tool, filling it in, roughly getting them in the same area that they are on the, on the actual, um, unsmeared planet and then just doing every frame the same way you know i got a little experimental here with like the the lines i usually don't do like um cross hatching or or dithering in my pixel art but then here i did some horizontal lines to accentuate the horizontal spin um so yeah i go through all the frames here so it's going to skip to one of the later ones um, and I wanted to show this one in particular because this is the one I think right before it turns into Elon Musk. Uh, so I wanted it to resemble a face, like start to resemble um, his face as it's turning around. 
So you can kind of see some of the features here. And the nose, the, the eye socket, the mouth. Just so it, it's you know a little smoother of a transition into that into those other frames. <laughs> I even tried to do like a, a frame that was like a warped version of his face, but that didn't work out. Oh, and did I end up keeping this frame? Let's see. No, I don't think I ended up using this. Yeah, because I think just having that that one in between was was enough. So I'm exporting here into After Effects. And then I think I take the the Mars texture and I stitch it to twice the length so I can do like a, that slightly faster rotation right before it does the crazy smear frames. And that's pretty much it. So here's the final sequence in After Effects. And you can see the rocket come up pretty high here. This is before I timed the, uh, the part where he kind of sucks it in and smokes it. So, um, you know, I kind of liked how it looks like he's actually looking at the rocket in this version. But, you know, just to get it to fly into his mouth, um, it had to had to veer off course uh, much sooner. So thanks for watching. Um, I think the next one is going to be the last one, part six, where we wrap it up with um, the final facial animation for Elon. And if you guys followed along up until this point, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, and we'll wrap it up in the next one.